All right, we back again with another video. I got a lot of DMs talking about one question that stuck out to me. And the question is, is it too late to become a DJ? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I don't feel like it's an age or time period to put on it. So I'm gonna say it's never too late. It's just about asking yourself what crowd do you want to DJ for? You know what I'm saying? Or what you want to do? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So, do, do you want to do high school parties? Do you want to do clubs? Do you want to do bars? Do you want to do 30, 30 and up, 25 and up, 40 and up? Like what you want to do? Blues? Like what you want to do? Think about that. So, just ask yourself that what you really want to do. You know what I'm saying? I got videos covering on expenses, stuff like that. and where to get music from and the truth about DJing. Like, don't watch those videos. I'm gonna try to post it over here or over here, either one. But uh, I don't think it's too, it's gonna ever be too late. You know what I'm saying? It's just about if you really wanna do it or if you don't wanna do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's about, you see, the is it a hobby for you or is it a job for you? Some people think it's just, you hop in and start DJing, uh, I'm gonna make this money, and then you realize it's, it's a different ball game. If you think you're gonna hop in the game and make a lot of money, bro, it's, it's not gonna happen. You'll make a few dollars, but... But that being said, it's just like, a lot of people wanna become DJs because they see the money that you can make, but that takes time. You know what I'm saying? You gotta build a name and reputation on that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of work you gotta do to get to the point of making thousand dollars a night, 500, 200, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you wanna charge, well, it's not just that simple. You can buy the equipment, but can you learn how to do it? It's not hard. DJ is about song selections at the end of the day. It's not about tricks and stuff like that now. I'm starting to realize a lot of people doing scratching and all this other stuff. It's about pleasing the crowd, pleasing the, the people that booked you, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the main priority. Like, you wanna make sure they happy and then focus on the crowd. That's what I do. I, they tell me play this, I'm gonna play this. But if the crowd not feeling, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to please the crowd at the same time. So find a way of doing both. But, mm -hmm, it's money to be made though. That's why I don't understand so many DJs in, in the game now that I, I'm starting to see it's it's so many it's so many lanes that you can make money in. You got junior high, you got high school parties, you got proms, you got homecomings, you got college parties, you got college events, you got corporate events, you got a lot of stuff, bro. It's like 20 different lanes you can pick. So I'm gonna say this: it's it's not it's never too late. If you feel like you've been on DJ for 10 years and you ain't ever do it. That's on you. Stop being lazy and just go buy the equipment. You know what I'm saying? If you if you know how much the money you need to spend, spend that money. Stop thinking about it. Just go do it. Take that risk. It's never too late, bro. So I'll never let nobody tell you it's too late. I started DJing when I was like, like for real, for real, probably like 18, 19, I guess. So I started like in, in a high school, I bought equipment in college. So I've been DJing ever since. So didn't nobody tell me, I just knew what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? It just, I had a passion for music. You know what I'm saying? I got started with a uh, chop and screw music. You know what I'm saying? That's how I learned how to DJ. I learned how to do the basics first, like mixing two songs and pitching the songs and stuff like that. But I didn't try to come in the game scratching. You know what I'm saying? Like I learned on virtual DJ first like the basics. I didn't try to do no parties on no clothes with Virtual DJ, but I learned the basics first. Then I got Serato Scratch Live. So that's just something I wanted to do. And then once I, I bought the Serato box, I was in the game because once you buy that box, ain't no looking back, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have controllers back then. I had to start with the Scratch Live box, XL1 box, that was my first box. I bought that, then I bought some turntables. Once I bought that, I spent all that money. I was like, oh yeah, I'm in this. I almost gave up three days because I couldn't figure it out. I was just like, it's tough. It wasn't no push and play. Everything was lame. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no sync button. So a lot of people don't understand that. They just buying controllers now. 
and doing it, but you got YouTube now, so you can learn how to DJ if you really want to DJ, you know what I'm saying? So, if you don't know where to get songs from, got videos on YouTube, you can find that. There's a lot of information out here, bro, so. I'm not gonna be one of them DJs to be hating and tell you, ah, oh, you gotta do this, do that, bro. I'm giving you the tools, man, like, do this, do that. I ain't had nobody, I ain't had nobody do that for me, but, YouTube is definitely like the number one source to get stuff from, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm giving you a green light, you want a DJ, maybe a DJ. I'm not gonna hate and tell you, nah, this, this, and that, bro. If you really wanna do it, go do it. It's not that, it's not that hard, but you're gonna have to put in a lot of work, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna deal with a lot of fake people and situations, so get ready for it. But like I said, man, it's money. Family reunions, weddings, corporate parties, everything bro it's, it's money to be made bro so don't bring nobody down don't come in hey you just do your part man keep it moving stay to yourself stay in your own lane bro that's all i can tell you but one thing i can one thing i can say when you, if you start djing do not come in low ball i hate that bro do not come in djing for 50 dollars or djing for free i know that you gotta get your feet wet and get in the game but it's other ways of doing it because I kind of I kind of blame these promoters bro because they making the game tough because it's like you got DJs that's actually good that can scratch and do all this other stuff but they won't let them get on because you got a DJ a DJ for free or $50 you know what I'm saying and you knowing once this guy get on they can do everything you got to pay them that price two three hundred dollars you know what I'm saying two dollars you know what I'm saying stuff like that so it's a business. They might not want to spend that extra two, three hundred, but that's gonna get your crowd hype. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, you gotta start somewhere. So keep that in perspective. So you gotta start. You can't start in the game running. You gotta crawl before you walk. So that's all I can tell you about this. So let this video be a sign, man. If you should, be, if you should start DJing, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, it's never too late. So. If you ain't started yet, don't feel bad. Just ask yourself if I really want to DJ. Some people think they want to do it. They buy the equipment, do it for a couple months, and they take it back and be like, dang, I thought I wanted to do that. Or some people that actually want to do it, and they practice every day. I know people that practice every day, but they ain't never did a gig. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, You just got to make that, that jump. You got to take that leap, man. It's that simple. Get off the porch. Stop. Debating, you know what I'm saying? Stop debating, stop lying to yourself. Just jump out the porch and do it. So, so with that being said, man, I'm out of here. Uh, go like, comment, subscribe, share the video, hit the bell, do all that. You know what I'm saying? I keep telling you, but a lot of people don't know it's different people clicking the videos every day. So, so that's just a green light on this video. So, um, I'm out. Do what you gotta do. Over out. Thank you.